This is a test that needs very little explaining. It's an ultra high performance road tire versus a track tire versus a hard and medium slick. This is something I've been trying to test for a long time, but finding all three types of tires in a road fitment, because I don't want to use a race car, has been very difficult. Thankfully, Pirelli, with their amazing motorsport heritage, have stepped in. We have the Pirelli P0 PZ4, which we know is an excellent ultra high performance road tire, the Pirelli P0 Trofeo R, which is one of the king of the tracks tires, and two types of slicks, a hard and a medium slick. So this should tell us whether putting a slick on a normal car really does bring benefits on track days and makes you feel like a hero, or whether you're just as good with a good track day tire. The car we'll be using is a Hyundai i30N. 18 inch was the only size we could do this in. There was a selection of cars and I picked the i30N because it's a good hot hatch. It's got a nice front diff and it should be good to test this, but it is a normal road car. So can it extract the most out of the slick and will I be able to get any rear tire temperature around this track? Let's find out. Right, you join me after what has been quite a difficult day of testing. It was meant to be a full day, but for various reasons, we've actually only had about a half day. And let me tell you, if you've got a Hyundai i30N, don't try and drive on track on it with less than a third of a tank of fuel, because you'll get fuel surge around fast left-hand corners and you'll just have no power coming out the corners, which is really great for tire testing when you're on a lap. Anyway, this video isn't gonna be quite as in-depth as I originally hoped, but it leaves room for doing another more in-depth video in the future, which I'm probably secretly happy about and hopefully you will be too. So the tires, the four tires. I started the day on the P0 PZ4. Now, we know this is actually quite a good ultra, ultra high performance road tire for track because in my 18 inch ultra high performance tire test this year, 2021, uh, it came third in dry handling and subjectively was better than the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S, which is everyone's kind of like go-to benchmark. So we know it's a good tire, a good road tire for track. How was it on the Hyundai? Well, it felt delicate. Now you had quite light steering, uh, and the accuracy and the precision probably wasn't as much as I'd want even for a road tire on track but the lateral grip was good and the braking grip was excellent however you just had to be really delicate especially mid corner at apex and corner exit I was tickling the throttle because this, this car is probably not the most powerful car in the world 300 odd horsepower but even so even with this clever diff you were still scrabbling for grip and pushing wide with understeer and that's where I felt like I was losing a lot of time on the road tire mid corner and corner exit I was just waiting and waiting on throttle and this is a circuit with quite a lot of hard braking zones and then hard traction zones like this out of the corners so I think that cost it time his final time was a 1 minute 38 and I think that's quite a respectable performance overall for a tire that does excel in the wet because the rest of the tires especially the slicks just aren't gonna work in the wet naturally the next tire was the Trofeo R the track day tire now leaving the pits you can't help but smile coming from a road tire because the steering suddenly feels way more weighted more sporty more direct the first time you tip into the first corner you're like oh that's how this car should turn cripes that's really nice it was actually a bigger jump i've tested lots of road versus track tires before and this was a bigger jump than i expected coming between the tires the trofeo are just went quickly it was darty it did need noticeably more warming up because if you tipped it in to the corner a little bit too quickly especially the ones are slightly off camber the rear would come around the issues with the traction out of the corners was gone you could stand on the throttle and the clever diff at the front would absolutely generate grip and just launch you out the corners puts a smile on your face made the car drivable made the car instead of feeling like you were waiting to do what you wanted to do you felt like you could just attack the circuit and do exactly what you wanted to do and that was great the time was quite a lot faster i've forgotten the time honestly because we're rushing at the end of the day um, i'll put it on screen i think it was about three and a half seconds faster which is faster than i expected but like i said there's a lot of traction advantage for this tire and one other thing worth noticing which might apply more to the road um, I regret having started this test with the suspension in track mode because over these bumps which you're about to see now it got really bumpy next up was the first slick now I said in the intro these were a hard compound and a medium compound that was wrong 
The hard compound, they're both the same compound, but they're different constructions. The hard compound, so the slick I used first, was used, uh, it's the front of a Ferrari Cup car, or a Ferrari Challenge car, one of the two. Uh, it's probably not super focused for this kind of front wheel drive hatchback, but it's an interesting test nonetheless. Now, the step up from track tire to slick was smaller than road tire to track, but it was way more than I thought it was gonna be. I thought, honestly, going into this video, I thought at the end of the day, I'd be like, nah, there's not really much advantage to using a slick on the track, uh, especially in this kind of car, because it's just too much tire for the car. But I was wrong. It was another three seconds faster. And where was it gaining time? Absolutely freaking everywhere. It was awesome. It was so much fun, and Pirelli have made a really <laughs> impressive tire for the front of a Ferrari that still works on this. You were hard on the brakes. In fact, you could brake so hard, at one point I was putting more pressure than I've ever put through a brake pedal. And I'm talking race cars I've driven, road cars, supercars. I was on the brakes so hard and I still could not get them to lock up. The ABS wouldn't trigger. The deceleration was frankly insane. But it was also way more darty on the front axle. It needed warm up like the Trofeo R, but it didn't need a huge amount more. I was actually surprised. It felt like it came in fairly quickly, maybe because it's a front tire. And it was just a joyous experience. It really did put a smile on your face, way more than I thought it was going to. Don't get me wrong, the Trofeo R is an amazing track tire, but the jump to slicks, obviously you can't drive them home like you can the Trofeo R, and they definitely don't work in the wet, whereas the Trofeo R does work in the wet, but obviously not as good as the road tire. But my gosh, it's a really wonderful experience and something I would suggest for everyone. However, I probably wouldn't put a lot of miles on slicks on my own car unless I'd really made the car ready for slicks because obviously you're gonna start doing bearings, suspensions, track runs, everything like that because you're putting so much more energy through the car. As for the other slick, so the other slick's actually a slick that's primarily used in the TCR Championship, which are front wheel drive cars, and a little bit more like this. And because it, it's a different construction on the same compound, it did actually feel slightly different. It was a little bit more darty on the front end. It felt like it, it came up to temperature even quicker on the rear, which is probably in my mind, but a nice touch, especially for these kind of cars. And you just had even more precision so it was the most precise i was actually quicker on it because it's a 245 wide tire instead of a 233 wide tire so i was ever so slightly quicker on it uh, but i don't think there was actually much between them overall other than this sort of subjective turning which was really nice that's my take home from the test sorry if it's a bit garbled um i've had to rush this without any prep uh, I've been kicked off track once and had to beg for 10 more minutes of which I am on nine minutes so I've got to stop talking soon. Uh, thanks to Pirelli for providing these. I do like the PZ4. The, I think they've updated it since I first tested it because it wasn't my favorite tire back then but in these 18 inch sizes it does work really well. The Trofeo R is one of the best all round track tires. Perhaps not as fast as things like the Cup 2R or the Super Sport RS but what it has is much better wear characteristics. And in fact, the seven or eight laps I did on it today, it barely looks used, which is impressive for this kind of track and this kind of work. The slicks, I need to spend more time on slicks because they're absolutely monumental. And obviously being a tire design for racing, uh, they really work well on track. In fact, I've, this is probably, oh, there's the fuel surge. This is probably my 10th lap of, I've been talking to you and uh, I've had pretty much no heat degradation. Uh, the, obviously the road tire felt like it had had its best after three laps and the Trofeo R felt like it, uh, it, it dropped off a little bit after the third lap but it stabilised and just banged in the times. Again, sorry this is rushed. Um, thanks to Pirelli. Hopefully in the future I'll be able to deep dive more into these tyres. Any questions please ask below. Slicks are amazing really love them i got to do more with them in the future thanks for watching and like subscribe youtube stuff uh, and as always safe motoring